hi everyone. Hi Bumblebee. I'm always so glad that you're here. <laughs> uh, with your wrench, especially. Uh, hi Janet. Hi. How are, how are you doing? We are going to have a thunderstorm. It's already started to thunder out there. We had heavy rains this morning, and then it got sunny. It was real nice. It was like 60 degrees for a short time, and now we're supposed to have thunderstorms from now till sometime in the middle of the night. Uh, yeah. Well, today is the first day since I put on uh, or took off best offers and I didn't know what to expect or if it's just too soon to expect anything probably but I had uh, two good sales well three but one was on Poshmark <laughs> hi Melissa <clears throat> Yeah, that Diane, Melissa, Janet, and Bobby. <clears throat> yeah, now, since spring started, now I know it's not been that long, but has anybody noticed a difference in their sales uh, since spring has started or about that time? The news here was showing tornadoes going off in Cincinnati about a half hour ago. Yeah, uh, storms are supposed to come up. But it's not mentioning anything about severe storms. It just says thunder, thunderstorms, which we get all summer here. So, uh, yeah, somebody last night mentioned tornadoes too, and that it were, they were coming this way and I should watch the weather. My daughter is the weather watcher. My daughter is terrified of storms. She is sort of like my mother was. My mother was always terrified of tornadoes. She never was in one. I don't think she ever saw one. But she was always just, it was always on the top of her mind whenever we'd have a storm. And I don't know if I've said this before, probably. We spent half of our childhood in the basement. <laughs> She'd make us go down in the basement, any bad storm. Or if the, or if the uh, uh, clouds look funny. Or if, you know, sometimes they say there's a like a reddish hue uh, before a, a uh, tornado. Well, heavens, if that happened, for sure we were in the basement. Uh, you have freezing wicked winds. Ooh, I don't like that. The news here is showing tornadoes in Cincinnati about a half hour ago. Okay, usually the weather moves sort of in this direction, northeast. So I will keep an eye on the weather. Uh, I feel very safe in this house because I'm not, I mean, all I have to do is go in the basement. So this is, uh, this basement is very safe. Yeah, home and away says bad weather in Ohio. It's been raining off and on all day. We had a lot of rain this morning. I have a little pond in my backyard. Every time we have a huge amount of rain in a short time, we get this 
there's a little low area in my yard over by the green. And it fills up. And sometimes if it lasts long enough, the ducks will come off the golf course. Yeah, every once in a while we'll have a duck or two swimming around in the little pond. Now, I don't know. Uh, my dog would just have a fit if she saw something like that. They wouldn't be here long. They'd be running off to the golf course again. Home and away says they're due for over two foot of snow starting tomorrow. Oh, dear. It's those mountains. <laughs> oh. Thank you. I found this sweater in the bottom of my closet. It's a tunic. It's a long tunic sweater. And I've, I've had this for a long time. Too bad you can't actually see it. It's a stone. It's a pretty stone. Um, and I have earrings to match, but they're for pierced ears. And I stopped wearing my earrings quite a long time ago, so I can't get them through the holes in my ears anymore. They've closed up. I'd, I could probably poke them through somehow, <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. Uh, yeah. Thank you. My sister, uh, I talked to my sister today for a long time. She's doing very well on her rehab. She, she has to go now to the rehab place twice a week. Uh, she says they may tell her three times a week, but she's telling them two times. <laughs> you can't argue with an old rehab nurse. Uh, she knows what she's doing. She'll be just fine. Uh, she's out and about, you know. Hi, Ruby. Oh. Yes, I had two. One, you know, pretty good sale, but it was something that was just put on. I don't have it up here, but uh, it was that cardigan sweater with those bright lime green with those sort of knit. They were snap buttons. It was a cardigan. But the thing that was uh, exciting is I sold that Pure Jill open cardigan that was new with tags. And it sold for, it was on sale for 20% off or 15% off, I guess. What is today? Tuesday. 15% uh, off. It sold for $51 and something. And see, if I had had best offer on, they may have they may have offered me something really low. I felt I could put it on, even though I just had listed it a couple of weeks ago. And I was very happy with that sale. Yeah. However, this morning. I got another return, and you'll never guess what it was. It's 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 that Samuel Dong designer strapless or skirt that one with all the fringy stuff on it that I we just talked about Sunday or yesterday. Yes, that I was so <clears throat> so glad I sold it because it was so different. Well. I don't know if she's trying to wear it as a skirt. If you wear it as a skirt, you definitely have to take one of the layers of fringes off because it's way too long for the average person. I think it's really meant to be a strapless dress. But she says it's way too long, and uh, so she's going to send it back for fit. 
So it'll just be relisted. I was really disappointed about that one. So what I made on that one, what I made on the sweater today, I'm losing <laughs> because of that uh, designer skirt or uh, dress, a strapless dress, really. So <laughs> that sort of took the joy out of it. But yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that the sales just continue and I don't find a huge drop in sales. I expect to have somewhat of a drop taking best offers off, but I think it'll uh, work itself out. I got up this morning with so many ideas about bringing my photography down to <laughs> I'm going to be going crazy till I get this done. I thought I was laying in bed after I woke up this morning thinking about what, how could I bring it down here right away? And then we will figure it out later. But every, everything that I tried to figure out involved so much moving for me by myself that I finally just took my pictures upstairs <laughs> for my drafts for tomorrow. And, uh, but Samantha comes tomorrow and it's our day to do whatever. And I think I know what I'm going to do. I think I, and I can sort of help out by moving a few bins this evening and get things cleared out a little bit so it won't seem so daunting uh, tomorrow when she comes. So, yeah, so maybe tomorrow we'll get something done. Plus, I want her here to help me carry all the stuff down from upstairs. Uh, yes, I wish you would <laughs> live here closer too. A gang of us could do it real quick. <laughs> the bumblebee hive. <laughs> yes. That would be great. My idea, the first idea, I was going to put it right inside the doorway where you come up from the kitchen to the left. That would be the quickest, the least stuff I would have to move. But everything would be in the way of the walkway. So the bigger wall would be over, would be where the <laughs> darn desk is. But the more I looked at it in there, if I could move the bins that are if we could take the desk that's on the wall and just swing it around to the window wall, I would have to just move. Four of the bins could slide over under the window. Easy. And then I'd have four bins left. And I figured out a place to put them in here. So that way... I think the two of us can do that if we empty, take out the drawers and everything and put those sliders on the legs, on the, on the feet. I think we can slide it over there. It's my, I don't, there's no carpet in there. It's, it's a floor and I have sliders for, you know, floor. So I, I think we can do it. Now... I have a couple things. I'm not sure where I'm going to put them yet, but we can figure that out. <laughs> Do you think there may be a Boy Scout troop or a church group that would help, would like to do a project, service project to help you, maybe as part of a scout badge? Bumblebee, I'm much too impatient for that. I'm in now that I have an idea in my head, I'm much too impatient to wait for a Boy Scout troop. 
I'm just praying that Samantha and I can do this. Uh, the last girl I had, her name was Teresa. She was, she was little and mighty. And I wanted, it's when the desk was back there in that room, this heavy desk. And there's no way that her and I could move that desk. So she called her brother. And she said, I want you to come over here right now. <laughs> and he came. Her brother and her moved that desk and they had to turn it on its side to get through that door. Because in 1850 house, all the doorways are smaller. They're not your normal doorways. So they had to somehow, that was the hardest part, getting that desk through that doorway but I knew it was possible because we got it in there so they they're the ones those two moved it out there so we're just swinging it around dragging it around I think we can do this the other things I mean moving bins that's what we do all the time yeah we'll see I'll let you know tomorrow night. Or no, I won't be on tomorrow. Wednesdays are off days. Thursday. I should have everything all. If everything goes right, I'll have everything uh, situated. And I will take pictures. I should do. Actually, I should do a YouTube video of the whole thing. The whole process. I don't know if she wants to be on a YouTube video or not. <laughs> oh. But I think I thought about that moving ever since I got up. Like I wasted like three hours walking around the house trying to think of what to do. Till I finally said, you know, this isn't doing any me any good. I've got to just get some work done here. So I did get my things photographed upstairs. And uh, I got, I still have three of them to draft for tomorrow. But I'll do that while I'm out there watching something on TV tonight. Teresa doesn't, uh, I don't know what happened to Teresa, to tell you the truth. Teresa worked for me for quite a while. And then when I needed a handyman, she said, well, her husband, she thought her husband would be a good handyman. And he actually was for quite a while. And then there was some funny business going about when... Um, we went to pick up some lumber and stuff. Anyway, he kept the lumber at his mother's house and he never brought it back to me. It's lumber I had paid for, which is, was a lot of lumber. And um, yeah, I called him on it. And from that point on, they quit. And I think because her husband quit, she never came back here, which shocked me because we had been become friends i mean she worked for me for probably three years or more and we really got along well together and he he quit and i just never heard from her again but I see that she is remarried now, which is interesting. <laughs> so I don't know what happened. Something. But. There was nothing I could do. I mean, there was nothing I could do about it. I mean, I wasn't going to call the police or anything, so. 
so I was at just out, I don't know, about $300. But he built the start of my new deck, and that's the part that's built the best. He was a very good carpenter. I would have loved to have him do my entire deck, but it just didn't work out that way. So that's what happened to Teresa. It's a mis sort of a mystery. Uh, but now I have Samantha. She's a sweet girl. Uh, yeah. Hi, Claire. Uh, you're trying to decide whether to sell things on eBay or Poshmark, and I honestly don't know which to decide on. Well, have you ever sold on a plat, ever sold before? Have you ever been a reseller before? It's, um, Poshmark is much easier to start on. Bumblebee's correct. <laughs> eBay is, if you've never done eBay, eBay is a hard to be your first platform to work on. But, yeah, Bumblebee knows the most about Poshmark. Uh, yes, it takes time for you to share your listings all the time. And, uh, yeah, unless you pay for getting them shared for you, that can be expensive. You've got all your packaging and supplies to start on Poshmark. Well, good. Just do it. You have to just jump in there and do it. Just start listing. When you make those first few sales, it'll give you, you know, really incentive to, to really do it. You just have to start. So I keep telling my daughter about YouTube. You just have to start. She's so worried about how she's going to look, I think, still. I can't imagine. She sees, you know, people. It's not, it's, people don't want to see perfect people. If they want to see perfect people, they can go on TV. <clears throat> What kinds of things are you selling, Claire? If you told us, I'm sorry, I forgot. Uh, are you selling clothes or other things? It seems to me you told us at one time. Yes, and what's the name of your closet? For sure, you have to tell us that. Houston, cold call my closet, could call my closet, Mrs., oh yeah, you said that, Mrs. Toad, fine, Mrs. Toad's fines, if, I don't get the end of that, but Mrs., here, yes, just do it. was. Mrs. Toad, well just print it again. Mrs. Toad's fines, is that it? <clears throat> to get good lighting for your pictures, whether they're natural or not. Start by selling what you already have and get good lighting for your pics. Yes, you can start with good natural lighting. It's, 
it's the best and shows the colors the best, I think. I don't know. One of my lights upstairs really plays havoc with the colors. I don't know which light it is. Especially the blues and the blues. The color blue and green. It messes with those colors a lot. But if I take them outside and take the same picture, it takes the color correctly. So it's not, I thought for a while it was my phone. But I don't think it's my phone. I think it's the lighting. Mrs. Toad's finds. That's cute. <laughs> yeah, I like that. What kind what uh, kinds of things are you going to sell? Yes, start taking your pictures tomorrow. You know, in the summer, I think it was last summer, I put my backdrop out on my fur on my kitchen porch. I just uh, pounded it in the house <laughs> out there. And took my pictures out there in the in the really nice bright uh, natural lighting, and I did that for a lot of the summer pictures last year. Didn't have to worry about lighting. Liz, hi, Liz. I'm not sure, but I love toad, so I thought I would get that word in there somehow. Or the old goat finds things. <laughs> I don't know what to put down. Something with toad. Give me some ideas. I like the idea you had, Mrs. Toad. I think that's really cute. Mm. I have. I always lo love toads too, and I've always picked them up whenever and moved them out of the way of, like if they're in the driveway or something. But when I had horses out at the barn I was at last uh, for the last eight years or so, the girl that uh, owned the barn, she was scared to death of frogs and toads. I have no idea why. It was just those things. <laughs> oh. Yes. Name doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't. People will search for for the items on Poshmark. <clears throat> Your neighbor has an iPhone. I doubt it's just a regular smartphone, but she has the best looking pictures. Came out so sharp and beautiful. Mine are okay, but they don't have that sharpness. I take all my pictures with iPhone with my iPhone. And mine's an older one. It's not a brand new one. It mine's a 10 RS or RX or something like that. 10 SR. <laughs> my kids all have the new ones and I have still back at the 10. But the pictures are great on iPhones. Yes, I like Mrs. Toad's finds. That's really Really uh, cute. Well, I'll just start with men's neckties. Oh, yeah, you said you had neckties. Okay, and all the belts, yes, that I have. And then I guess, whoop, you're jumping. And I guess I will. You have a Burberry men's blazer. Ooh, that's nice. 
and some Burberry neckties. Well, you are off to a good start. That's good things to start with. An idea for Shirley. Okay, okay. I'm ready, Ruby. <laughs> I guess I could take pictures out on my deck, yes. At about eight to ten, and my background is the woods. I guess I could stick something, some kind of a hanger on the siding of the house, yes. You can always adjust your pictures using your phone if needed. Yes, there's a um, there's a free app. If your pictures don't, if the back, if you don't like the background, there's a free app called Photo Room, and it's excellent. It gives you a white background, or it can give you a black background, or other colors, but most people use the white background. Uh, yeah, it's pretty easy to learn to use. It's an app. And it's free. It's the best one I found out there. Keep your eBay and Poshmark links in your YouTube. Yes. Oh, me? Okay. I don't know who you're talking to. Ah, I'm getting behind here. Whoa. You can always adjust your pictures using your phone. Yes. <laughs> Bumblebee, Bumblebee says, my store? You lo loved your home and oasis. I loved your, I love my older iPhones. I have the 11 and hope. I don't have to update for several more years. Yeah. Keep your eBay and Poshmark links in your YouTube closet. I'm shy to share. Yes, Bumblebee won't share. <laughs> hmm. Classy Delia uses Photo Room and loves it. Yes, I think it's the best one. It's much better than uh, than eBay's. eBay eBay came out with their own, and it was it's terrible. I think. Okay, understood. Classy D and I try to support fellow poshers. Yes, you then. People will know where to buy your items you show. Recently got a photo box, which is wonderful for smaller things. Yes. Yes, I have that. I do all my shoes and anything small in there. Yeah, it's great lighting, and they come out perfectly. Classy Deli, I'm a Poshmark ambassador. If and I like supporting other poshers. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh. Yeah, so make sure you let us know when you first get your first things up there. Mm. I really want to get us a photo box. Where did you get yours? I ordered mine on Amazon, of course, where I get everything. <laughs> A long time. I've had mine for like three years. There's different sizes. Mine's 24 by 24, I think. That's your basic size, unless you get the huge one that you can actually stand up in. And then you don't even need to find a place to, <laughs> to put your lights and everything. The lights are all inside. Maybe that's what I should have done. No, don't put that in my mind because I already have my lighting and stuff. 
you don't like how it has photo room printed on the actual pictures. Well, here's how you do that. You take your picture far enough away that you can crop it and crop that, right? It's easy to crop it out then. It takes another step. But, yeah, people don't even notice that, that uh, logo thing. <clears throat> yeah, Amazon. What are you saying sell it to? Do the lights ever burn out? Mine hasn't yet. Mine are still going strong. I hope that didn't just jinx me. <laughs> but I've never had them uh, any trouble with them. I don't know what you do if they go out. They're sort of all hidden up there in the along the edges. So I'm not sure. I'd have to Google that and find out what other people done. Your large lights for a light box. <clears throat> That's my only. Yeah, mine have, uh, and I use it quite a bit. I mean, I don't use it as much as my other lights, which those those big lights, I've had to replace bulbs, but that's no problem. You can get bulbs on Amazon for uh, those types of lights. But I'm not sure about the photo box, what you do. So, one of these days, oh, this is my AAA yearly renewal. <laughs> I mailed my taxes in. I, ho I hope those were enough stamps. <laughs> but I just mailed them in. I have this book here, 3,000 3, questions. And I thought on a slow night, I could just open the book and pick a question. And we could all answer it. I think it'd be fun. There are all kinds of questions in there. <clears throat> uh, I hope tomorrow is brighter. I don't know what it's supposed to do, but I've got to iron some things upstairs. <laughs> but tomorrow is the day that uh, Samantha's coming. Maybe after she leaves, uh, I can do that because she's she only stays about four hours. She comes at ten. Uh, Uh, yeah, so this was sort of my night I didn't know what I was going to talk about. I have my root beer, though. The other thing I had intended on doing today was making, sticking stuff in my bread maker and making a loaf of bread. I have no bread. So... <laughs> I have to do that early in the morning tomorrow, and it can be running while Samantha's here. It only takes less than five minutes to get stuff into the machine. Uh, yeah, I've got, I'll get the machine out tonight and then set it on the counter so I know 
uh, I've got to do that. But if anybody has any ideas of what we want to talk about, My, uh, I closed my chickens in their, in their fenced-in area, in the, in the wired area today because it was a soupy, muddy mess out where they usually go. So they had to sort of stay more out, more enclosed today. So I took them a treat tonight. But I have to go now and close their pop door, and I hope it's not pouring out. I don't hear any more thunder. So I'll have to go look at the uh, map and see where the storms are. Classy Delia actually went to your closet the other day and say that it was already... And say that I was already following you. Bumblebee says to class it. Oh. Oh, Bryland Farm. Are you back yet? Yes, we missed you. <laughs> Are you back from Orlando? And now you're studying for exams for work. Oh, dear. <clears throat> Renee says the storms are in southern Ohio right now again. Yeah. Well, Bryland Farm, I don't know if you heard, but yesterday I took all my best offers off of eBay. I'm going to try. Try no best offers because I'm just tired of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was getting worse and worse for me. Yeah, it's always nice to come home. You know, I always said that after we'd, we'd spend a month, at, we'd spend usually May and October in Florida. And even, even those are nice months to be down there. But I was always glad to be home. I don't know. But my husband was a fisherman, and we had this boat. And uh, once he once he discovered tarpon fishing, you know what tarpons are? They're huge. They're like a shark. I mean, they're big, 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 big. And they fight a lot. You don't keep them. It's for sport. You just get them to the to the side of your boat. You can't get them in your boat. And you take one of their their little scales and then the size of their scale tells people how big the fish fish is. So if you can get it to the side of the boat and get one of their scales, whatever those things are called. Yeah, but sometimes you're fighting in your chair and you're fighting the fish for hours yeah it was great fun but uh they came through anna maria uh on the way to where were they going won't be able to think of the name now uh but they came through 
in July. So we had to be down there in July in Florida. <clears throat> Out on the water. I used to get very tan. Out on the water, it was so hot, I would just sit on the side of the boat and empty buckets of water over myself. Yeah. Rylan Farm says your sails are in the toilet, which usually happens after I put, well, yeah, after your store is on vacation. Ah, thank you, Shirley, for recommending Cha-Ching King for us. We watched him last night. Yes, I think he's very good. Yes, you're very welcome. Now, I haven't... Jen, the reseller, has... It looked like she was on again, but she had hurt her back. And her husband had, was doing the shipping for her, and she wasn't on for a couple of days. But I don't know if these are old videos she's putting on or if she's back. I have to watch this one and see. There used to be a, play, whoop, a place in the Keys called Feed the Tarpon. They gave you food, and the tarpon jumped feet above the water for the bait. I think one of the hurricanes wiped it out, though. Oh. Yeah, that's another fun thing when you're bringing the tarpon in. They do jump, like, you know, just like you see those big, uh, whatever you call those swordfish, <laughs> jump out of the water when they're bringing bringing those big fish in. Uh, I was just going to ask you about her. Jen, I haven't seen her in about a week. Yeah, she evidently hurt her back somehow. I don't know. I didn't, that's all they said. She hurt her back, was in pain, and her husband was doing the shipping. So she wasn't on. So I maybe she's not back yet then. Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Uh, she has all those kids. Yes, I thought maybe they were on break and she was taking a break too. I don't know. Did you see the video where her kids got into the food dye? <laughs> and I think it was for two days, Jen's hands were green. She went in and her kids had dipped their heads in the hair, in the green food dye, trying to dye their hair, the little kids. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, four kids. So. You can't be on too much of a break when you have that many kids at home. <laughs> yes, you saw it too. Oh. That reminds me of a story. This was long time ago. This is when I just had one child and I was married to my first husband, I only had my one little boy and he was like two. Uh, and my husband was supposed to be watching him. I had, I was either, I couldn't have been at work. I don't think I wouldn't have trusted him <laughs> that long. I must have gone out to get something. And when I came back, my husband was sleeping on the couch and my son, the little two-year-old, had gotten in the cupboards where I had all my baking supplies and the dry goods and things. The kitchen floor was covered with flour, 
rice, and whatever other dry ingredients. Thank goodness he didn't get the liquids out. <laughs> he was completely white, covered in flour. He looked like a ghost. And the whole kitchen floor was covered with flour and rice. Yeah, I'll never forget that. I could have killed my ex. <laughs> Oh, yeah, hi, Kiki. <laughs> um. Yeah. That was a long time ago. Wow. There's a new mama. It's before... My kids are uh, four years apart. So <laughs> it was another two years before Michelle came along. Uh, so that is about all I have for you today. Wish me luck tomorrow getting this. Uh, I will not be, I will not rest till I get this photography stuff down here, downstairs. So hopefully uh, Samantha's up to it tomorrow. She's probably up to it more than me. I'm going to get some bins brought in here tonight and I'm going to get those furniture sliders out and be all ready. I need to write a list of different stories I want to tell you. I have a lot. Yes, I do have a lot of stories. Oh, dear. The tornado siren is going off. Well, go someplace. Yes, go to the basement right now. Yes, I guess I should go and look at the radar. <laughs> it's headed this way. Uh, well, I will see you on Thursday evening. Well, my, my son, who didn't feel good on Saturday, was here. He slept most of the time until we went out to eat. And my grandson... They were both here, but we had too good of a conversation going on about uh, the end of times and the second coming. Uh, yeah, then we went out to eat. Close the chicken door. Oh, yes, I have to go do that. All righty. I'll see you Thursday. Be good, everybody. <clears throat> Be careful. Renee, I hope you're in the basement. <laughs> and uh, be blessed, everybody. Be careful. And I will see you then. Bye.